and we are live yay hello everybody i'm bonnie barker with bonniebcrochet.com and i have a few people here special guests today i have my daughter hello. becky bullabush and her husband you may recognize him from uh, crochet world magazine or maybe a <laughs> which he's uh, probably not real thrilled about but that <laughs> helps but um anyway we are here we've got a lot of my kids are coming into town um, kind of a bittersweet situation. Uh, many of you know, my mom passed away back in December 2019. And she is going to, her ashes are going to be interned at Arlington National Cemetery. And there's a long waiting list, or it just takes a long time to process that. So we're actually um, going to have the burial service there this Tuesday. Um, it's going to be a family thing, um, kind of small. Actually, could, could you adjust that light maybe away a little bit? I think it's sure. a little bright. Thanks, Brian. Um, but anyway, so my family, oh, that, that's much better. Cool. My family is, my kids are coming into town, and I'm really happy to have them here. So um, let me see. I'm starting to get some comments, so let me go ahead and see if I can. Yeah, give me just a second, guys. I'm, as usual, just slightly technologically challenged uh, okay, I am up with you. As soon as the lady hanging upside down in a yoga commercial moves on. <laughs> this is funny. Ah, we're there. All right. Ah, uh, Esther. Hey, hi, Esther, I hope you're doing well. Um, hi, Dina. Um, let's see. Rose, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, Bobby's Crochet and Crafts, you haven't missed a thing. We just got started. Um... Thank you for your kind words. Um, but anyway, so we are, we have so much to talk about. Um, let me go ahead and adjust this a little bit down. Is that better? Yay, yeah. that's better. Now you can see less of the <laughs> space above. Um, let's see. Um, we just, my husband and I just got back. Uh, on Sunday night, I think it was it Sunday night, yeah, Sunday night. Yes. Uh, from London, um, I'm still waking up at two, four, and at five in the morning. So I guess my body is not quite back with me, but my mind is here, sort of. <laughs> so anyway, um, Becky is also in town because she's going to be helping me tomorrow at the Frederick Fiber Fest in Frederick, Maryland. So any of you that are in Frederick. Or in and actually the Washington D.C. metropolitan area, please come on out. Um, I'm gonna. Ha There's a link in the video description. It, I don't know if it's showing up right now, but it, it'll be there um, when I'm done for sure. Um, and it's a link where you can get free tickets if you'd like to attend. Um, if you're not able to get the free tickets online, um, that's only five dollars at the gate. So I mean, it's it's not a lot. There are going to be a lot of crafters. There are going to be a lot of yarn sales and all kinds of fiber goodness there. Um, and I also realize that it's also I Love Yarn Day. Not that any of us need a special day to love yarn. I don't. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. But um, but it is kind of nice. It's a way to promote, you know, the craft and and fiber a little bit. And uh, maybe get more people interested and sharing in on the fun. So that's sponsored by the Craft Yarn Council of America. Did I say that already? I don't remember. But anyway, um, in case those of you don't know, I'm actually a certified instructor. I've gone through both of their courses years ago. And um, it's kind of nice. I've learned a lot of things by taking those classes. So if any of you guys are interested in becoming a, like a Craft Yarn Council certified instructor, um, it's... It's, it's a significant course, and you know, you can check online, just Google it, um, and you should be able to find all the information you need. Um, let's see. I thought we'd start out with some fun. You, let, let, well, let me, let me check in to see if there's anybody I need to respond to. Um, and, and just to let you all know, I do read every single comment um, once this is done. And I, I love reading through it. So if I'm not able to respond to you immediately, please forgive me. Um, my brain is kind of one-dimensional on these things. Uh, <laughs> yes, spell check. Live spell check. Fun, fun, fun. Um, let me just catch up here. 
Okay, when is it? Very good. Thank you for asking that question. The the Fiber Festival is tomorrow. Is tomorrow, Saturday, um, October twelfth, and all that information is in the video description. It's going to be, but I will go ahead and say where it's going to be in case those of you are familiar with the area. It's at the Frederick News Post 351 um, building. It's 351 Ballinger Center Drive, Frederick, Maryland. Um, if you're on Facebook, you can just look up Frederick Fiber Fest. Um, they actually have postings and you can get all the information, a map and everything that you need. Or, or you can just go to their website. And again, that information is in the video description right below. Okay. Um, the next thing, oh, I wanted to show you some goodies. We've got so much to talk about. I'm afraid that I'm going to blab on way too long again, but I wanted to show you what I got at London Loop. This is the yarn store. It was um, in a little village outside of London. And I, I wish you could have seen this place, sweetheart. It I wish was, you could have too. <laughs> I wish you could have afforded to bring you. But um, it was a really nice place. We rode the tube. We actually rode the tube quite a bit. Um, we got to be quite adept at it. And um, it was a lot of fun. And uh, by the way, for those of you who are familiar with rapid transit and, and subways and so forth, what's really cool about, about riding the tube in London, um, you know, like in a lot of places, you'll have to wait for a train. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a lot of times it can be discouraging because you have no idea how much of your life is going to be wasted away waiting for that train, right? Well, they have these nice little displays up. I mean, it is an old system, but they have these beautiful displays that tell you in nice red letters that are easy to, to read um, exactly how long the train is going to be until it gets to your station. So somehow it's just psychologically, it, it's a good trick that they play on you because it's like, oh, I've got two minutes. That's not a big deal. Um, cause you know, sometimes when you're waiting for a train, you know, two or three minutes can seem like an eternity or 15. Um, but it just tells you, oh, four minutes or three minutes. And then you're, it, it, it's, I mean, I mean, that was just something I kind of liked about the system. And, um, okay. Let's talk about the yarn. Um, we went here on a Saturday and they had a lot, a lot of people. Let me read this. This that somebody, hey, from South Georgia. Super, do I have a super easy mitten pattern you could send me? Uh, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at that, Linda. I've got a couple mitten patterns, but they're not super easy. But I will keep that in mind for future videos. Back to the yarn. I got a couple of these in here. Um, my husband actually picked out these colors. Um, this is Lang yarn. That'd be why it's black. That's why it's black. <laughs> I would never... <laughs> I would never buy black yarn to work with because I made a black sweater one time and um, I think I promised myself I wasn't ever going to do that. I mean, I had bright lights on me and everything and it was just a really big strain on my eyes. However, my alma mater in Columbia, South Carolina, the Fighting Gamecocks of the University of South Carolina, black is a major color and garnet or some people might just say red. But um, we were in this shop in London and Lang is not a London brand. It's actually a Swiss brand, which is very expensive here in the U.S. because you have to ship it all the way across the ocean. Um, but it was not expensive at all. This was like super cheap. And this is, uh, what kind of yarn is this? I think it's wool. Let me just double check. It's wool, it's wool and wool nylon. Wool and nylon. Yeah. Okay, 75% virgin wool, 25% nylon. It feels really great. This is going to be a striped scarf um, coming at some point. I have actually two more in the bag, but you know, you don't need to see all that. Um, what I did get a lot of, I kind of fell in love with, um, I'm going to make myself a sweater out of this stuff. This is, um, go back to the glasses, silly. Um, okay, this is Llama Tweed. You know, in the UK, they're famous for their for their tweed yarn. And um, this is 40% llama, which is every bit as soft as alpaca. It's the same animal family. Very nice feel. It's 40% um, 
40% wool and 20% Donegal, which is those little those little spot things that you see in the yarn. So I got a whole bunch of this, so I have enough. I hope to have enough that I can make my sweater. Otherwise, I'll just have to help on a plane, I guess, and go back to London, right? And it's so soft. It is. I don't know so if any of you soft. all have worked with llama before. I've only worked with it a couple times, and it was really, really nice. Um, so just to throw that out there, because, um, you know, it's fun to explore new things. And the last thing, see the rest of this is just mostly the purple mm -hmm. llama yarn. This is what my fingers fell in love with before I even knew what it was. Um, feel that. Oh, see, I'm gonna steal this one. No, you're not. <laughs> tell her, tell her why. Tell people why you like oh, this. Oh, well, I mean, it's 100% alpaca, mm -hmm. which so it feels great. And on top of that, it's a beautiful, beautiful charcoal. And the name of it is Anselm's Aeroplane. Spelled. Spelled A E R O P L A N E. And why is that significant to you? Because I love old airplanes yeah and i'm writing a script right now about a world war one pilot and this is how i'm spelling it in my script yeah because it's the old-fashioned way of spelling it and and for those of you who are new new to our my channel um becky is a big history buff she was a history major in college and a film major and um she actually has a short available mm -hmm. a short <clears throat> video it's maybe 10, 10 minutes 10 minutes long and maybe five minutes of credits, I don't know. But it's maybe, what, 10 minutes mm -hmm. long. And it's a World War I uh, short. Mm -hmm. um, very well done, uh, award-winning. I don't know if you want me to film. boast on you. but Student film. A student film, but you can see that video where? You can see it for free on primarysourcefilms.com. And I okay. can put that in the comments. Okay, she'll put that in the comments. So if you want to see her film, of course, when we're done here, right? <laughs> um, it's it's really it's really it really moves me to tears every time I see it. So I just 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 to warn you, uh, have some tissue nearby, especially if you're, you know, savvy at all or, or you know knowledgeable about the world wars. And if that's something that grabs your heartstrings, um, this certainly will. But but anyway, so I I am looking forward to working with this. And this is a, a little thicker. This is not sock weight. This is actually more of a DK weight. So um, look for a. A really sweet cabled scarf coming from this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use this on the YouTube channel, but it's definitely going to be something I'm going to be wearing um, this fall and winter. All right, well, let me go ahead and put the yarn away because we've got more yarn. So you tuned in to see yarn and fiber stuff, right? Well, we got some more. Um, let me do this, then then we'll do a note, then we'll do an unboxing. Because I was gone for two and a half weeks, that was a long time to be away <laughs> out of the country. It was kind of nice, but but kind of you know, that's a long time to be away from me. That that's not a normal thing. Um but but anyway, where was I going with that? You uh, have something to show them in here. I do. Um, I don't know if any of you get this magazine. This is um, Interweave Crochet Magazine, and I don't even know what edition it is. Okay, it's fall 2019. And I have a, a, a pattern in here, which is kind of unusual because I usually don't have patterns in Interweave because my style is, I guess, not as provocative maybe as, I maybe I'm sure I should have said that, but... Um, but, but this one, I, I do have one in. This was originally supposed to be a part of a book. And as you know, um, there were some financial things happening with the book division. And we were sold to Penguin Random House. So there was a book that I was working on with a, a really sweet friend. Um, and but to, to make a long story short, the book was kind of disbanded and dispersed into magazines instead. Um, but this was a lot of fun to make for her. This is um, Wheatfield Caplet. If you can see that. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get it. There you go. There we go. There you go. And um, this was interesting because this was not not my idea, but it was Carrie Bogert. She's the the lady. She also um, has started her own business. If you're interested in publishing a book or something, mm -hmm. um, she is the expert. She can help you do it. 
but um, she had this idea of adding leather closures to crochet projects. And um, I'd never thought of that before. So she said, I want to make something. Can you make something that adds leather enclosures? And I thought, oh, sure. And these are like little snaps. And if you're interested in experimenting with that on your own, these snaps are, um, they're handmade and they're available from a seller on Etsy. And if you just really go to Etsy and Google leather enclosures, I don't even know the name of the person anymore where I got them from, but if you just... Um, do a little search in the search bar. You'll find all kinds of um, leather fixtures and things that you can add to clothing. Um, and I, I really enjoyed doing that. So this is on the newsstands. They're available, uh, I guess, just about you know everywhere that would sell crafting magazines. I know Barnes & Noble, um, my Safeway grocery store has them. Um, so that's, uh, that's out there. Um, Ooh. Thank you, Esther. Esther was very sweet. Um, let me. I'm just trying to catch up. If there's anything, honey, I need to respond to. I just want to make sure I don't leave any unanswered questions like I've done in the past. Um, okay. Well, let's go on to looking at some yarn. You want to see some yarn? Oh yes. Oh yes. Always. Okay. So I think this is September, but if I'm mistaken, is it labeled? Uh, it is. I don't know. That, that's a good idea. Let's, <laughs> that's why I need people to help me here. Yeah. September 30th. It says September. Okay. And um, the reason, there are two reasons why we're doing two at one time. Um, there was, yeah, well, I was gone for two and a half weeks. And also September's shipment was late. There were mm -hmm. some problems at the warehouse in Florida. Um, I'm not sure what was going on. I think some of it might have been weather related. As you know, we're still in hurricane season. Mm -hmm. And actually, um, that's one reason why I don't have copies of my new book. I have I have a copy I'm going to show you, but it's a, it's a proof. It's not the real deal yet. I was really hoping to have a giveaway with those at some point very soon. I was hoping it was going to be today. But um, apparently, a, her, a recent hurricane has affected the distribution of the author copies. Um I'll get into that in just a bit, but you know, hurricanes happen and one of the main publishing houses um, for the copies that I get as an author from Amazon is in South Carolina. I think it's in Charleston and they did sustain some damage recently. So that's kind of put a lot of uh, publication schedules behind. So, but the, the good news is they're going to, they're coming, but just, I don't have them yet. And I was really, really hoping to have them for the Fiber Festival, but they're not going to be there. <laughs> so anyway, okay. Ooh, you want to open that for yes. us? And, and should I say something? If anybody's interested in getting into Knit Crate, there's never any pressure from me, I promise you. Um, I think if, if you should be feeling any pressure, it's to see the beautiful yarn. And once you see it, it and realize how, what a great deal it is. Um, but I do have a link in the video description below. And if it's your first time, you could just put Bonnie 20, you get 20% off your first box. You can cancel at any time. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. They've got really pretty paper in there. Ooh, yes. Ooh, it's Ooh. this lovely purple. Ooh, and it's, let's see, it's 85% merino and 15% silk DK. It's called Beauty Berry. Well, and there's two of them. And it's, I think this may disappear when I'm not looking. <laughs> and what else do we have? Let's in? see. And it's DK 300 yards in each skein. So that's a total of. So it's a total of 600 yards. That's DK weight. Yes, DK. Yeah. Oh, and we have oh, this cute little pin. Yeah, that's the knit crate. See? The symbol. Actually, should I should we should wear that? Once you take that yeah. and wear that tomorrow at the fair. Seriously, I've got one I can wear too. So, and let's see. Here's the little pattern book. And th these are really wonderful, guys. It used to be. Thank you, Hannah. Put, yeah, put that there. I can get that. Um, it used to be these were only available online, and honestly, I used to have a hard time finding them. Um, but it's really great the, to have the book now. The different color options yeah, show, show them. so we got the purple one but it also you could potentially get the gray 
or the blue. And they usually give fancy names to those. What did what did the Beauty Berry is the one we have. Topoly is hmm. the gray, and then Enlightened is the well, blue. And one thing that they've done now with these boxes is that if you kind of prefer a certain colorway, like maybe more the color, the cooler colors, um, you can kind of select that you would prefer to have, you know, a certain range of color, or if you want the brighter colors, you can actually request that. Um, Let's see, they got a knit pattern for a hat. That's yeah. one on the cover. And That'd be a good got, learning pattern for me. Looks like they got like a, a sleeveless tank top sweater using the purple. Mm. That's an that idea. That could be nice. Although, yeah. Um, yeah, and they got some other, it looks like some sock patterns in here. And sometimes they have, um, also this book is not just for this yarn. There are other... Mm -hmm. pricier yarn selections yes. that you can get you can get well, they like are advertising yeah. here they have the sock crate that you can yeah. get which apparently keeps selling out according to them but these yeah. are the three sock crate colors yeah, you could get but then um it, it's it's kind of cool um you get all the patterns so even if you don't get the you know the you know the higher end yarns that they mm -hmm. offer you still get the patterns that are specially designed i might have um, to steal this pattern you may have to. I want that sock pattern. Hmm. Is I've it a crocheted or? It's or crocheted. It, it, that's crocheted. It's wow. crocheted. That's encouraging. Sock pattern. I'm always looking for these. Yay. Yeah. So that's September. That's September. Okay. Okay. I hope we're not boring you too much looking at yarn. yarn go ahead. Go ahead. Boring. Take that. I'm serious. Take that. I'm not sure about the yarn yet. You want the yarn? Are you serious? You want it? Ooh. Should I give it to we'll her? Talk. What do you we'll think? Talk. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about this. We'll yes. talk. I mean, it's not like I don't have it here. You take it. I, I, I've I, got plenty of yarn to keep me busy, at least until, uh, I don't know, next week sometime. <laughs> well, you did such a good job with that. Will you, do you want to open this one, or do you want me to? <laughs> do you, I mean, let me see if we have any. Yes, Lynn, it's never boring. Ever. No. 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 Oh, Deb says she got the same color. Deb Sky. Cool. <laughs> Mary, Mary got blue. blue. Ooh, I like but, blue. Yeah, I, I have a weakness for blue. Yeah, I think I've said this before. Whenever we go, if I'm going with Hannah or going with Becky into a yarn store, I kind of look them in the eye and say, don't let me buy them in that. Okay. Did that just go off? That huh? was weird. I hope we're still there. Are we still I there? I think we are. Okay, sorry, yeah, I got a there. phone phone call phone and it, call look, it disrupted everything. So, all right, we're gonna open October, and uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> and also, my crate my crate preference is not set, so I just whatever they want to send, I'm good. All right, now this this is interesting. This is actually a similar color, but it's a very a very different type of yarn. Okay. Ooh. Is it Vidalana? Vidalana? Vidalana. This is actually... This feels um, like wool. Um, and... Hannah, mm -hmm. can you can you call Mrs. Knapp next door? I think she's looking for you, actually. Oh, boy. Pardon our little... It's so business. squishy. Well, look at this. This is this Look is at how much. much there is. Yeah, this is very thick. And this is actually... Ooh. It's like chained. It's just like a, a knit... Strand. The strand, kind of, the looks strand looks almost knit. Strands. Almost knit. It, the strand is different. It's not just fiber twisted. It's like fiber that's been um, been knit together. This is 100% fine Peruvian Highland wool. This says it's a sport Ooh, weight. Hmm. One moment while I look at the refresh this okay. and double check that we're okay. Somebody said it was buffering for them, too. Okay. Okay. Are we back? Looks like we're good. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if that was a technolo technology internet glitch or what happened there, but looks like we're back. Um, so we're talking about this. This is a sport weight, although it to me it feels like a heavy sport weight. Don't you think? This yeah. feels That feels more like a... It's probably somewhere between a... 
It's, it's not a worsted, but it's close. Yeah, I'd say like a heavy DK. Yeah. But, but anyway, um, there's 328 yards per hank. So it's that's... It's this really nice, like coloring texturing going on can you see so that's 650 so it's not totally yards. solid yeah yeah so and what else oh look at this okay we have a little oh this is this is nice it has a little clip there is it this a is, stitch marker it's a stitch marker i don't know if i can see that but it has a little thing that you can open the loop because the problem with a lot of stitch markers is that they're designed for knitting only where where you just slip it on the needle and slip it off which is great if you're knitting if you're crocheting you can't use those because you need to be able to remove them like the backing of an earring how it unclasp and reclasp well this has a clasp on it so that's very thoughtful i'm glad they they thought beyond the knit crowd i mean love you guys knitters you know we, we, we should all be friends right i do both oh, yes. now of course my passion is with the hook but um, but anyway, it's and nice that they're they're thinking of us. Did you talk about what the, what the content is? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent Peruvian, it's Peruvian, like, Peruvian, Peruvian Highland wool. wool. Yeah, hundred percent. Those sheep up in those mountains of Peru. Okay, this is the booklet, and I promise I'm not going to take too much longer on this. Um, and these are some of the other colors available. And, Ooh, uh, I like that green. Yeah, I was thinking I like that's the, beautiful. The broken stones, the the stone color. Ooh, and these look are at those some colorful sock yarns. Sock yarns. I guess they don't want us to get bored during the fall. Those are beautiful. Um, and the patterns. Oh wow, look at that. Is that a baby set? A bundling, bundling blanket, blanket and, and bonnet. bonnet. Wow, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> Too many bees. Bundling blanket and bonnet blanket yeah, set. So this is a crocheted pattern. You could work with that. That's cool. You can do. We can do mm -hmm. a baby blanket with that. Maybe. Like maybe I'll wool? do a baby blanket pattern with that. I think that's what. Maybe what I'll do. I don't know. Wool might be a little itchy for a baby. It might. Um, but, but it depends on where the baby is, I guess. Uh, you know, that's a good point. Not to be critical of choosing to make a baby blanket for the for the booklet, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm just thinking of how babies can oftentimes require a lot of hand, a lot of washing of their clothes and stuff. I'm not so sure. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. That might be a nice shawl. And this is another a knit project you could make with that. And, uh-oh. There's more sock patterns for their sock yarn. More yep. sock patterns for you people that like to make socks, which is not me. All right. Well, that's about that's mm -hmm. about it. So I I know you oh. guys want me to get on the road here with some. Tonya had a question. Yeah. Okay. She's asking about our earrings. Ooh. Yes, Tonya. Yep. These are. You all see? Little skein of yarn, earrings. Okay, it's all yours, Becky. See, these are handmade. I've made a whole bunch of these in different colors. And I'm gonna be selling them tomorrow at the Frederick Fiber Fest. Ooh, do you have the box of them? I do. I can't I can do this yeah. by myself. She made me stick. some for Christmas last year. I've got them And I love them. All kinds of colors. And Let's what kind see. of yarn did you use? All of these are made with Good Loops yarn. So they're all yeah. cotton and bamboo cotton yarn and bamboo yarn. How about that, Stephanie? The wonderful <laughs> Stephanie at Good Loops. She was able to supply me with some, let's see what I've got. We got this. Let me see if you want to show wow. them close up on some of these different colors. And some of these, remember the, um, the scarf that we did, the ripple, easy ripple scarf? Um, it's using the same bamboo cotton yarn, and mm -hmm. they have these really nice little flecks of color in them. Yep. Okay. A couple of them, though. A lot of solids. Okay. A few of them. And here's some others. Yep. Got yellow, she's, got she's green. She's really good at these. Yeah. Yep. So I'm taking these to the Fiber Fest tomorrow. This is the color I'm wearing right now. Yeah, for sure. Yep. And... I'm also going to be starting these, soon. These might disappear. <laughs> <laughs> might be starting soon on an Etsy shop 
So if you all are interested. Might be or will be. It will be. You yes. will be. Soon. Okay, she's just not set up yet no. at the Etsy store. But you know you know me, as soon as she does, I will let you know about it. And um, we'll definitely be trying to help her along. Um, Ooh, here's another pretty pink. Okay, tell us a little bit about some other future plans you've got in the works. Oh, let, so... let, let, let me say, say one thing for a minute. I, I'm just so, so thankful for my daughter, well, my son, Caleb, and, and his wife, Christy, and, and also Brian. Is um, I don't think Mrs. Barker would mind me telling you this. Um, my mother-in-law actually had a medical emergency while we were out of the country, and that was pretty scary. And we were in touch with our children quite a bit. She is, she is doing better. She's doing okay. She's at home. But um, both of my married children and their spouses um, traveled to be with her. My son, who lives with her, was the one who took her to the ER and um, just trying to get some pain relief. So if you could please pray for her, um, just that you know the pain would subside, um, that would be great. I, I would so appreciate that. But um, she's a little delayed in getting the Etsy store and the other thing she's about to tell you about in just a second because they've been serving our family heroically for the last week and a half, or has it been two weeks? It was about I a week and a half. I don't remember. About remember. a week and a half. Yeah. So she, they kind of basically up and left what they were doing in, in working with, in film in Atlanta and um, just moved temporarily to, to just keep an eye on Mrs. Barker. And um, so that's why we can't give you the, the site yet. She needs to have more time to work on that. Mm -hmm. And to let you all know, I'm hoping to be broadcasting next Friday, but it will be from South Carolina because I'll be taking, um, be taking my shift for a while to just kind of keep an eye on things and, and um, you know, just try to take care of the person who's just taken such great care of us for so many years. It's just a, a tiny little infinitesimal way to give back um, to someone who's just incredibly generous. Um, my entire 31 years of marriage, she's probably the best mother-in-law I'm aware of on the planet Earth right now. So, but um, mm -hmm. anyway, um, so tell us yeah. what your plans are in the future and, and if you have any yeah. rough dates, times, yeah. okay? Yeah, so hey, I am going to be launching my own YouTube channel, kind of as a sister, daughter, pattern, no, not pattern, related channel, related channel yeah. to Bonnie's channel, and it's going to be Becky May Crochet, which is, most of that's my own name, actually. Um, Spelled M-A-E. M-A-E. M-A-E, yep. which and is... And if you see my comments on the the comments in there that mm -hmm. will be where the channel will be yep um and my goal is to do different craft videos a lot of crochet probably some like amigurumi easy amigurumi videos and some, tell people what amigurumi simple... is in case you so, don't know it. That, that's, a, that's a hard word to say i mean i still don't know that i'm saying it right when i say it amigurumi but... is where you take um you make little animals or little sculptures of cute little things and you stuff them and make little like toys or and those are usually whatnot. pretty pretty easy with a single stitch they're relatively easy they're usually almost entirely single crochet um okay. and slip stitch they're pretty easy it's more about shaping and keeping track of where you are relative to the other rows because yep. you're usually working in the round um so, so you, some stuff like that so you might um, need you might need need some of these possibly yeah oh. possibly yeah. um but yeah, some stuff like that, some easy baby blankets, um, easy just beginner projects. Um, if you all have any ideas for stuff you might want to see in a beginner channel, let me know. Um, and I'll definitely consider those. So is it going to be only crochet? No, not necessarily. It'll probably be a lot of crochet. Okay. Um, it'll probably also be potentially some like upcycling of thrift store finds. Ooh. Um, stuff like that. Um, maybe some other simple, you know, crafts and whatnot, especially things that are good for, you know, low budget Christmas gifts because we're coming up on Christmas. Don't mm. say that everybody wants to hear that, but <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> we're even, getting oh, there. Oh gosh, I can't believe it. It's, um, yeah. but, 
But yeah, yeah. so that's what I'm yeah. going to be doing. And you know how I know Christmas is coming. You know because how I... it's everywhere already. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of funny because I know what you guys do. I know your patterns. That those of you who watch YouTube videos, because after Thanksgiving, my viewership goes. <laughs> it goes down for a while because everybody's out Christmas shopping or Hanukkah shopping or you know whatever whatever you do during the holidays, going to parties, and then. After Christmas Day, I promise you, all the numbers go, whoop, they come back up again because people, you know, made it through the, to the deadline. And, um, and, and, you know, Christmas is so much more than just gift giving. I totally understand that. It means so much more to all of us. And I know you know that, and I know that, and I know that you know that I know that we know that. But, you know, the reality is we're busy and we have a lot of people we want to bless. And we were mm -hmm. usually busy making things for people, shopping, um, serving mm -hmm. which is a great wonderful thing um and then once the weather hits things yeah, yeah people get yeah. back to their hooks which is yeah basically the way i live as well yeah so yeah and people are asking when where they can buy the earrings i'm gonna be launching that as soon as i can and then mom, maybe later can, this week maybe later can. perhaps later this week um and maybe next friday mom can okay tell you that's a, a goal where it's going to be so the child in, has a deadline tune in got to make it happen and we'll let you know as soon as that launches okay. yeah but yeah good good, good. yep and so and I think anything else. yeah and if any of you guys like in the Myrtle Beach area um stay tuned I hoping to you know be down there and there's a really cool yarn store I'm going to talk with them and just see if we can Maybe work out a book signing. That's just a, a thought right now. I haven't discussed that with them, but it's something that I want to work towards since I'm going to be down there anyway for a for a, for an un. You know, not sure how long. Mm -hmm. It may be for a couple weeks. It it may be shorter. It may be longer. I don't know, um, depending on the needs. So uh, I'm hoping to maybe maybe we can even do a meetup or something at a at a coffee shop. Um, you guys can drink coffee. I'll drink tea. Uh, <laughs> um, boy, that sounds so British. But anyway, um, let's see. Is there anything else you want to tell us about your channel or just? That's about it. Just if you have any requests or ideas for beginner projects, let me know. Okay. And this is going to be Becky May Crochet. Becky May Crochet. And it's going to be, it's, if you look in the comments where I'm, whenever I comment, it says Becky May Crochet. And that's okay. where it's going to be. So if you go there now, I don't think you're going to find any content. I think you have some subscribers, but we're still waiting on, again. There isn't anything there right nothing, now. But once she does launch, there's going to be some yeah. really good things yeah. there, and I'll be glad to tell you. Um, so the next thing, we have a new book coming. I think I've maybe shown you this before. This is my proof copy. Um, which is why it has the not which for is resale why it has across the, the front. Not for resale, okay? The ones that I'm going to be getting will be for resale. And this is the back. You may you may even recognize some of these blankets. It's it's basically all the baby blankets that I've done for easy beginners on this channel already. Um, but it's just filled with um, the the patterns, some special notes from me, and I've got some extra photographs. Um, a very dear friend of mine's daughter and her 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 child. I, I tried to feature. She's been a longtime family friend. Um, lots of fun pictures. I got some new little baby girl pictures of another friend of mine. And, um, you know, I tried to spruce it up a little bit, but it, it's, I think it's going to be a really good resource. And it also has some stitch guides in the back. It's, it's not a complete dictionary like some of my other books, um, have had. And I didn't feel like that was needed because, um, Everything I do, you see through video. So the picture is more like, I guess, if you're off grid and, and you need to know. Maybe some very basic, some true beginners might want to, you know, a little picture of the basic stitches. So that's pretty much what I did in the back of the book. Um, I need to tell you that there was a little bit of a glitch in uploading the the um, the uh, digital version. The, the book version is is all ready to go it's just a matter of um getting my advanced copies um the actually the book is available for sale right now um but i i would almost say wait until monday because on monday i believe the digital version will also be available the digital version is not um 
I uploaded it. There were some, some glitches um, having to do with um, just the way you upload things. It has to, I, I won't even go into all the details because it would probably bore you to tears. But the bottom line is there were six people I know that ordered the, the, the copy and you, you got cancellation orders on that. The, the good, that's the bad news. The good news is it's being uploaded and then it's going to be joined with the um, print copy on Amazon. This is all technological guard jargon here. Um, but once the two are together, um, if you buy the hard copy, okay, which I think most of us, um, you know, over the age of 20, I think we like to have a book copy. I, I have a whole bunch of books behind me. I, I just love collecting them because if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. If it's buried in my computer or in a cyberspace somewhere, honestly, I don't see it. I've got to stumble over it to, to be reminded that it's there and go, oh yes, I want to do that pattern. Um, so, but if you get the hard copy, which is $14.99, you get the free digital download. Um, you get it free. Um, it's part of the matchbook program. You will have to seek it out when you order um, and if you, let's say if you order the book like today, um, uh, which would be great. And once the digital becomes available, you just go through customer service and say, I want the matchbook uh, digital version and it, they will give it to you. So I hope that wasn't too confusing, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys can get to the video links with ease. Um, and that's why also my other book, let me see, let me see this one. Um, cable crochet, cable crochet made easy. Um, this is more of an intermediate book. You've seen this before, I'm sure. Um, but I, I tell you that a beginner who is confident in the basic stitches can accomplish many of the patterns in here simply by watching the videos and how I make the cables and so forth. It's not as intimidating as the projects may look. And if you buy this one on Amazon, um, it is also part of the Matchbook program, so you can get the digital download for free as well. But you do have to, you know, look for the part where it says the Matchbook um, when you order it. And if you forget when you order it, you can go back through customer service and still get this. So maybe some of you have even bought this copy already and you'd like, you know, a, a copy in your iPad or your computer or something. You can do that. I just want to make sure you guys can get to the videos. That's that's the primary reason for me doing that. <sighs> okay. Um, what else do I need to talk about? You want to talk about shirts you're going to be selling tomorrow? Well, I don't actually... You don't have any shirts? Ooh, I don't have the shirts, but... Hmm. Well, you're wearing one. Oh, I, yeah. I don't... Yeah, I'm not going to have... Yeah. But she was asking me about my shirt. This is... um, Yeah, I think I showed this to you two weeks ago when I was mm -hmm. um, in London. Um, these are not, I'm not going to have these available because okay. it's, it's a lot to have on hand with sizing and stuff, but they are available in the Teespring store, which is below the video right down there. Um, if you're interested in those, but I am going to have some of those, uh, bags. Can you go in the foyer and look, there's a, um, there's a, you should be able to see them through one of the clear boxes. I have all the stuff ready for the fiber festivals, literally stacked in my foyer and, um, so maybe she can find one of those. I'm going to have a lot of bags available. Thank you, thank you. Yay. I actually carried one of these all, all um, on my trip while I was gone. This is the, the verse from, you know, no, it's not knit. No, it's not knit. In case you've seen that video. No, it's not knit. This is a hook and it's called crochet. And this is the other side. It's a, a fun bag. It's got a nice little... Nice little pocket with a snap. I've got about a dozen of these available um, for tomorrow. And there'll be a slight discounted price from the online price. So um, that's something. But thanks for reminding me. Mm -hmm. um, in case some of you are new to my channel, I have two new videos that were released in the past week. And both of these videos have a right-handed and left-handed. Um, and I can actually show you a picture of one. The Easy Beginner Bobble Baby Blanket. Let me show you the picture of that. This was a lot of fun to make. And if you're looking to you know, learn how to do bobbles, this works really well. 
the video is free on my channel. Um, and it uses, I think, um, see, I use three scans of Premier's Candy Stripe yarn. So the yarn is self-striping. There's no color changing um, needed. Uh, and I think, yeah, that's a... Um, or you can just use any worsted weight yarn that you have available. Let's see, 260 yards times three is what I used on the yardage for that. Um, and maybe some of you have seen the honeycomb scarf. I don't actually have this scarf with me because that is actually in Knit Crate's possession right now. But um, that, that pattern is doing really well online. Thank you for that. And um, if you are wanting to learn how to make the large honeycomb cable, mm -hmm. Um, you can learn how to do that by watching that scarf video. And that, again, it's free. Coming soon in October. Um, many, many, many of you, or others on my YouTube channel, um, have asked for an edging for this blanket. You can notice I did not do an edging on this because I didn't want to disrupt the stripes. But I had so many people requesting, well, how do you do an edging if I want to do it in a solid color? Well, I'm actually, I actually did a video um, and it's ready to go on Monday. So I actually have a video. It's just showing you how to do a shell edging. Um, and so those of you who, who were, were desiring how to do that, um, it'll be uh, linked up to my shell stitched baby blanket. This is an easy beginner blanket. Um, and you could just go on to the next video. It'll show you how to continue on with the shell edging. It's very easy. Um, and if you wanted to add that to a scarf or, you know, the bottom of a sweater or anything else, um, you'll be amazed at how easy it is to do that. And the cozy cabled shrug, which is the shrug right behind me. I think I showed that a couple weeks ago. Oh, this, oh, this yarn feels so soft. Mm -hmm. Mm. Would you put this on? This? Would you put this on for us? Yeah. This is impromptu. I didn't ask. Ah, ah there goes my there head. There goes the hat. Yeah, the hat. Oh, I'll show everybody the hat, too. Okay. Ooh, it's a little large. It is. Well, actually. I'm stuck on the chair. She, she's much more model quality than I am. So this is, um, how's that feel? It's so soft. It's almost like a kimono with these arms. Can you, can you turn around? And it's like wearing a blanket. Yeah. And see the, the cables behind? Um, this is coming, um, let's see, not next Monday, but the Monday after that. I think it's gonna gonna release that one. And let me look behind you. Somebody was just asking about the pumpkin hat. The pumpkin hat, the hat just fell on the floor. Okay, the pumpkin hat is another, another video that's on the channel right now. Um, and if, see, this is done in the adult size. I do have a pattern, I always forget to say subscribe. Yeah. I am so <laughs> like the video. <laughs> yeah, if you could like the video and subscribe. It'll help it's, us out a lot. I'm about 45 minutes late with that, but um, if you could do that, that'd be great. But um, this is in the adult size on the video for right and left handers. Um, if you want to, to make it smaller, I do have a pattern. And as you know, all the patterns are in the knit, the um, knit crate, are in my Love Crafts store. Again, the, the links are always in the in the video description below. So, um, so yeah, it's everything is at lovecrafts.com. And if you just put Bonnie Barker in the search bar, it'll take you right to my store. Or just use the link um, in the video description. But um, if you do that, and if you're looking for this, let's say for an infant size or for a youth size, um, those changes for those sizes are in the pattern. I didn't include all of that in the video chiefly because it's very confusing. And if I'm trying to encourage um, beginning crocheters to, you know, step out of their comfort zone and learn something new, I don't want to be throwing three and four sets of numbers at them. So I'm, I hope you can understand that. It's just a lot easier to read um, the changes than it would be to explain it um, over a video. Well, I think we are done goodness we've been doing this for 50 minutes does that feel yeah. like 50 minutes to you wow no maybe to you guys it does but ah that went fast am i forgetting anything um, let me just look real quick to see i'm sorry i didn't interact with you guys 
better. Um, Becky's been really helpful Somebody with that. Somebody Bobby's Crochet and Crafts would like to know if you will be doing a tutorial for the picture that you posted on Facebook when you were in the airport. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, possibly. Possibly. Um, I'm actually the, the scarf, the honeycomb scarf is very similar. Um, it's not exact because I did something different with the cabling, but I am actually working on a whole set of patterns with various cables like that that is coming. Um, I can't promise when, but it's something that I do have in the works. Um, what was interesting about that scarf, do I even have it? I think it's upstairs. But um, I actually had two leftover balls of sock yarn, and neither was enough to do anything with. But I decided to combine the two and just do broad stripes on a scarf, and I really liked the way it came out. Um, so that's how that came about. But I am I am working on that. But it's just a matter of time, and I thank you for your patience on that. Um, anything else that I need to? And again, I will go over all these comments. And if there's any any question that I don't answer um, right now during the live broadcast that you really need answered, um, once this video buffers, go ahead and and you can contact me um, by just putting a, a question in the video. Once the video finishes um, rendering and appears as a regular video, um, I activate you know, the questions on it. And you can always just put the questions down there and I will certainly answer you. What yarn is this? This is the um, Bernat Parfait. The, um, Bar yeah, Bernat mm -hmm. um, Parfait. P-A-R-F-A-I-T. Um, it's a, I believe it's a five. It's a slightly bulky. It feels amazing. I'm actually, I'm actually working on something else with another color with this to show you guys um, probably won't be here till November but I have another project coming with this yeah okay mm -hmm. I think we're all done all right so now we've got to load up the car and drive to Frederick and set up our stand gonna have fun tomorrow come see us yeah please come by if it would be great come say hello great to meet you all and um, if if you do happen to come by say you know you know, tell me where you found out about us because that way I can probably connect and if you say your name I probably even recognize it because I, I see a lot of a lot of people here week after week and that's just so wonderful um, well anyway we probably ought to say goodbye yeah let everybody get busy and um, God bless and we hope to see you next week broadcasting live from Conway South Carolina yeah okay bye bye bye